This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now standing next to a mini pickup in its original form. And in this video, I'm going to show you, this is actually an electrified mini. And uh, well, most of this is original, except for that uh, they took out the fossil engine and it's now fully electric. So I guess let's start with the back. So here we have the battery pack. This is actually the modules from an E-Up, except for that we're missing one module. So uh, the E-Up, uh, at least the way they configure it, is 16.8 uh, kilowatt hour. And here we are missing one module, but we're actually utilizing more on each cell. So we still have 17.1 kilowatt hour. Here's 1.1 kilowatt hour on each model, module. So it's been put here in the bed of the pickup truck. And let me see, this part here, which is the cover, is from a Ford F-150 that has been modified a little bit. We have some uh, cables here, and I can show that EL, you know, it started with EL in Norway. So when you see EL cars, uh, they are old, like really, really old. Even Millennium Falcon is EL29, this is even older than that. And it has been approved to be used in, on public roads in Norway. So um, uh, let me show you. Oh, okay. Huh, the charge, charge port is here, I guess. Okay, but so the charge port is there. 240 volt, 32 amp. Uh, hey, that's it. Okay, so 7.4 kilo. Oh, that's actually not. Yeah, that's uh, that's decent. But then yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the tires, the wheels. Original, 165, 70, 10 inch, freaking 10 inch wheels. Fun fact, when, he, when the owner uh, who built this, he wanted to uh, do a wheel alignment. He simply couldn't uh, align the wheels because uh, the, the equipment you need to put on the wheels, they, they don't fit 10 inch wheels. You have to put on 12 inch wheels just for the alignment. <laughs> but it is so small. Um, oh yeah, the hood, hood, hood. Let's take, take another hood. I have to, I, I need two hands to open the hood. Oh yeah. So the battery pack is from EF, but the rest of the components is from THINK. You know, you guys remember THINK? Oh, actually, we have a THINK over there. Yeah, and a fat e-tron. But you see, they have taken components from the THINK in here. Um, this is, I guess, just a junction box. Here we have the, the inverter for, for the motor. You see that DC goes in here, and then we have three phases going out. Uh, this one is the DC-DC the DC converter that uh, transform uh, high voltage into, uh, well, high voltage, uh, battery, uh, main battery into 12 volt. Here we have a custom um, onboard charger. It's uh, 3.7 kilowatt. And then here we have a, a, a dedicated circuit, 12 volt circuit for, uh, how was this again? I don't remember. Uh, the owner here, he, he didn't want to be in the video, so that's why I have to explain everything. But other than that, yeah, this one is, um, is a coolant uh, reservoir. So uh, the cooling uh, is going through this one. If you have liquid cooling going through this component, that one, and the motor in the, in the bottom there. But a um, fun fact is that okay, the, the Mini had um, a fossil engine, uh, but it was not aluminum block engine. It was actually steel and it was freaking heavy. And the, the gearbox uh, in the mini gearbox was mounted to the engine. And okay, they took out the engine and gearbox, they took out the exhaust and everything, took out whatever that was uh, associated with the um, uh, fossil engine, put in the batteries, but still the car weighs only 40 kilograms more. <laughs> Just to put things in perspective, how heavy. The, the fossil stuff is. But okay, enough over here. Let me show you inside the car. I need to close this one. Let's see how this is going. <sighs> Voila! Huh? Behold the Mini. So we have, I guess this is not original, Cobra. Uh, this one is also not original. Uh, the steering wheel can be tilted. But let's go inside. I'm not sure, you know, I, I'm not old enough to remember or to know what I mean, okay, you're supposed to just slam it really hard. Let me see. There, there, all right. Look, <laughs> this one is original. And then also here we have ashtray. Yeah, back in the days where when uh, smoking was healthy. 
So um, here we see the gear selector from the classic or the, the, the old school thing. And this one also, this is the, the heater. So actually, let me show you here. We have here, we have defroster. And then this one will then divert towards the screen or inside the car or off. And then also we have USB here. We can hook up. Um, there's a dedicated BMS system here. So you hook it up here and you can then connect to the BMS. We have some, uh, I guess, for music here. <laughs> this, what the heck is this old ancient iPhone connector? I'm not sure what all these buttons are. But um, other than that, yeah, you know, this. <laughs> I think maybe here there's supposed to be a, a regular gear, gear stick shift, right? It's not here anymore now, it's just a, 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 an emergency stop button. Over here we have a, a switch. This one is to cut out or cut uh, the 12 volt system. So um, yeah, let's um, fire it up. I'm gonna show you now. So what we need to do is press the brake and then turn this one. Now, you hear some weird sounds. It's running. It's running that pump I show you outside. So it's that the, the coolant then runs through the three components. And I think we're good to go. So let me show you that. Uh, now I just have to change gear, put it in drive. We have 100% state of charge. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, okay, okay. I guess it's going reverse. We don't have any backup cameras here. Let's not uh, bump into the fat e-tron there, but... <laughs> oh, shit! What the heck? Oh, oh, okay, I need to mount the camera. Let's go for a spin. Let me see, uh, how do I... Okay, and then park. You heard that? It's the park brake uh, actuator. When you put it in drive. Oh, the the sound you keep hearing is uh, is the the the, the pump for what is it again the brake uh, yeah yeah uh, it's something to do with the brakes. But let's see now. Uh, do we have heat? I'm not sure. Okay, okay. But let me try to mount the camera. I'm not sure. It, it's so small here. Moshkus, he came here with me. Uh, he's inside the, the 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 shed now, talking to the owner. So um. It would actually be kind of cramped to have much good here, so I'm gonna drive alone and uh, need to mount the camera somewhere. Let's let's try. Okay, let's see. Put it in drive now and then wait it it has no creep. Okay, it's weird uh, perspective, but this is the best I can do given the small cabin we have. Whoa, we really sit right on the ground here, but hey, it's surprisingly easy to drive. Okay, we just have to get off this uh Gravel roll. Wait, uh, there's a. T oh, okay. Turn signal works. What? Achtung, Achtung, Mini, come uh, Oh, oh there, there's no. Um, there's no power steering. You know, fun fact. My first ever car was. Uh, wait, how do I do it here with the sp speed bumps? Wait, let me just drive in between the speed bumps. Uh, like a ninja. <laughs> okay, you don't see the speed bumps, but you know, fun fact. My ever first car was uh, a Renault 5, <laughs> 1.4 liters. I I'm not sure it's supposed to have 45 horsepower or, or, or something. But that one also didn't have any power steering. It was quite basic and also small. But it was nice. Wait, do you don't see my face. Uh, maybe you don't want to see my face. You, want, you just want to see this perspective. I think this is the best. Yeah, normally when I do the, the driving ASMR, you also don't see my face. What? Do we have heater here? Car. I'm not sure if the heater is working or not. Wait, the toll road. Okay, so I'm just supposed to drive here for a little bit. It, it makes some weird noise. Now, now it's just coasting, I think. You see, every time I throttle a bit. Wow, okay, so we have um, a phone here with uh, BMS. Now we're down to 99% and uh, 26 kilometers per hour. Yeah, so we have a little bit of info there. Wait, my. I forgot to adjust the, the mirrors. I mean, this this one kind of works. This one is way off. Okay, whatever. We can just do this also. I can just 
look look in the back like this. So this is a one of a kind car, so I should not try to crash it or anything. But <laughs> you know, this is so much fun, man. Uh, we we test EQS and we test uh, Tesla in my channel, but uh, this is this is different. Oh, wait, there's region, of course. Wait, do they have blending brakes? What was that sound? It sounds like a tram, yeah? <laughs> but, you know, the owner, uh, he's um, a little bit taller than me. And uh, he says that he kind of, he doesn't want to drive too far with his car. So, uh, uh, but for me though, since I'm a small Asian, I fit right in here. It was like, I was born for this shit. I was born for Mini. <laughs> Man, the Mini I tested, uh, Mini Cooper, it's just a modern Mini. Uh, this is the real Mini. The one that uh, set the... Um, oh, I have to... The one that really set the tone for all future cars. We have... Uh, uh, what do you call it again? Uh, uh, in, in, in Norwegian we call it Tvistilt. It's, um, you know, the motor, the, the engine used to be lengthwise Back, back in the old days, right? I, I think maybe that was with, with a Ford and you know, real long ass hood. But then with the Mini, they put the engine, they to turn it 90 degrees, make the hood shorter. And then they put wheels on each side uh, and the front wheel drive. And really this one is like the blueprint for all future modern cars that we see on the roads. Uh, this is where it started. <laughs> okay, let me see. Wait, do we have region? I don't think we have region, except for that. I wonder what happens when I press the brake. I forgot to ask the owner. When you press the brake, do you uh, do you region? I think given the sound. Wait, there seems to be some kind of. Oh, what the heck? Okay, there's there's range estimation here. 160, 164 kilometers, 160. Yeah, so the range estimates goes through the roof now that we go downhill. Because I think it uses quite quite uh, narrow, uh, uh, narrow distance for estimating. It's like gum, you know, just not very sophisticated gum. Yeah, now, now, now that we go, we go uphill or we use power, then the range drops really fast. Ooh. But I mean, this is, this is so much fun. I wonder how fast I can drive here. Uh, what's the speed limit? Okay, no, no, wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, we have to wait after that one. Uh, or, let's go. What the heck? It spins! <laughs> I think it has some kind of semi-slick, barely legal street tires, but barely legal is my middle name, so that's fine. <laughs> you know, range here is not too important. Also, sound levels, noise levels, or, or uh, suspension is not too important. It's the whole proof of concept. Oh, oh, oh I, I don't know how low this car is, but it's the whole proof of concept. Wait, the speedometer goes 140 kilometers per hour. Really? I, I'm not sure if I want to drive that fast, man. Let's go faster. <laughs> <laughs> you know that sound sounds like an airplane you know when, when I went on the I went to Belgium for a, an, a, an MG press event for yeah there was many years ago when I went, tested the MG Zetas EV um, at the airport in the evening there was a guy from MG or at least working for them he picked me up in a, an old school MG, I don't remember which MG it was, but that was the real MG, you know, the OMG, the one that was hand built in uh, in uh, Great Britain uh, or UK. And on the motorway, it was so noisy. Like he was doing only 80, 90 kilometers per hour. It was noisy. It was vibrating, and it was just yeah, kind of weird. And I think this one. Wait, where are we supposed to go now? Yeah, I think also the Mini, if we were taken on the motorway or even just on the on the Landstrasse, Bundesstrasse, it will feel kind of noisy and yeah. But that's not the point. It's just driving around the neighborhood or driving to uh, the grocery store. Oh, oh, oh. 
<laughs> oh, you, you had to, <laughs> just have to show my face that I'm having great fun here. <laughs> it's so small, but it's perfect on these narrow streets here. It's just nimble around here. Yeah, actually, I could do nimbering because I have space in the back there. I could pick up some furniture, strap it on there, and then bring it to the destination. It's going to take a while to charge it, but whatever. We don't have to take that many tasks per day. <laughs> yeah, this, this car just sits really tight on the ground. I think it's quite fun to drive. I, I don't want to drive too fast, but... Um, wait, wait, Achtung, Achtung. He's coming. <laughs> wait, where, where did I uh, start from? I have to try to get back to the starting point now. Oh shit, the bus is behind me. Ah! Ah! I have the bus behind me, electric bus VDL. Wait, it's from here, huh? all right. This seems familiar. Oh, man. Huh? What do you guys think, huh? Do you like this shit? <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. I think it's here, I think it's here. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember the speed bumps. Okay, okay, let's, let's ninja the speed bump, like this. <laughs> oh, man. You know, Mini, they need to make the original. Wait, this one. Oh, shit, I missed the turn. Oh man, man. Ah, I missed. I have to, we have to do a big flyby now uh, because I missed the turn. Okay, uh, uh, where do I U-turn? Okay, you know what? Let, let's test the turning circle in this this uh, tiny uh, car. Okay, you're gonna do this, and then but I need to build up momentum, and then no, 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 wait, 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 no, 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 wait, shoot, shoot, shoot. Ah. What, what, what happens if I get stuck in the? Oh shit, it's so heavy. Oh wow, look at this. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, okay, uh, okay. Uh, wait, wait, I'm, I'm gonna stall the car. Oh, there's a turn signal still, okay. Wait, wait, reverse. Okay, let's try reverse. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh, this is good workout. Oh, okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. And then drive. And then you have to, you have to start rolling before you turn the wheel. Oh, damn. You don't wanna parallel park with this one. Oh. Okay, we are. You see, you see here? Perfect. Like there is, the bus is here without like, no problem. I just ninja through here. <laughs> uh, uh? Try to do that with a fat e-tron, huh? Okay, let me see. Where did that what's going on? Um, what is this? Is this a, uh, I think it was here. Okay, okay, coming through, coming through. Uh, uh, uh. Wow, that was that was awesome, man. That was so much fun. It doesn't matter that this car doesn't have that many horsepower or wait wait I'm I'm supposed to back up. Okay, let's let's do the let's do, let's do the backup maneuver. It doesn't matter that it doesn't have that many horsepower or uh, that you can take many banana boxes. It's all about having fun driving vintage car. <sighs> okay, let me see. Do like this. Yeah, it's slightly easier now that we have gravel here. Ooh, full turn. Wow. Yeah, you know this is it's it's amazing that I just sit in a car that I have never tried before, and then instantly I know how it works. Yeah, right? Because it's electric and it's so easy to. And I don't have to deal with gear shift because if it did, did it take out the clutch? It does all this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's just. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me, let me get in a better position. Okay. I'm getting used to this now. This is so much fun, man. Okay. No, no, wait. Reverse. I, t I was told that whenever you do something with an old car like this, just let, give it some time to think and, you know, react to what you're asking for. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm getting used to this, huh? I, I could totally go on a road trip with wifey with this. Maybe not that far, but uh, yeah. Uh, okay, let's sort up here. There, uh, okay, 97%, 150 kilometers of range left. Okay, park. Woo! Wait, how do I stop this? Uh, twist the key. And that's it. The key is, uh, I don't know if you can see it, this is, is general motor. Really? It's a general motor key. Oh, it's because the, the steering thing here is from General Motors. Yeah, yeah. I think we are stop stop now. There, you guys, have it. The Think pickup, well, or, or a Mini pickup. Yeah, well, is it? Um, is this a Mini? Is it 
a thing or is it an e-up? Hmm. No, I think it was, uh, th this is still a Mini. It just has drivetrain from some other cars. But what do you guys think, huh? Is it awesome? <laughs> Would you like to take it for a spin? Oh, it was so much fun, man. But I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.